the trigonometric substitution. So uh, earlier we have last time we have our discussion on our trigonometric substitution. No, now let's try to apply those ideas in our problem. So we have, let's start with our first problem. We have a given problem here. Uh, we have the integral of dx over x squared times the square root of nine minus x squared. So if you notice, no, this is Kind of similar sa itong inverse na kuan, inverse second. And, uh, we have the dx, the integral of dx over u, u times the square root of u squared minus a squared. But unfortunately, uh, this one is not uh, the inverse second. Diba? We cannot apply the integration rule for the, the inverse trigonometric function with this one. And so we cannot apply also other trigonometric in, in, integration rules with this one. So we can uh, try try with our trigonometric substitution okay so look uh, in looking at our radical here now we have that is in the form a squared minus u squared so that is the first thing that you're gonna look how is the radical form so we have here the a squared minus u squared so that is similarly you know, in the theta coordinate identity as our one minus sine squared theta so what does that mean then we let our u is equal to a sine theta. But let's determine our u first and our a. Our u is the x. So that is equal to a sine theta. Our du or is equal to the x. And our a is equal to the 3. So since our u is equal to a sine theta, that is x is equal to 3 sine theta. And our dx becomes 3 cosine theta. Okay, let's apply these values. Oh, by the way, if you remember you know, that in our previous uh, discussion, we know that if the radical is in the form a squared minus u squared, we can have an answer of a cosine theta. So for the, the square root of 9 minus x squared, and that can be written as 3 cosine theta. This is like a solution or a simplification of this radical. Okay, uh, substituting those values, we have integral of dx, or dx is... Don't forget the d theta. So our ds is equal to 3 cosine theta, d theta, over our x squared. Our x is what? Our x is 3 sine theta. So we just substitute that. Here we have 3 sine theta squared. And our square root of 9 minus x squared, that is equal to 3 cosine theta. Not from previous solution. So that's why it is very important you know, that you familiarize and actually, if possible, memorize those uh, well, no, uh, identities. So so that when it comes, you don't need to solve you know, for the solution to arrive at this 3 cosine theta. But if you already know that the square root of a squared minus u squared is equal to a cosine theta, then immediately you can write these answers. I mean, this the equivalent of the radical. Uh, continuing our solution, we have the 3 cosine theta. So we have a 3 cosine theta numerator and then, and then in the denominator, then we can cancel that out. Then we are left with d theta over the square of 3 sine theta, that is 9 sine squared theta. So to like uh, 1 over 9, we will have d theta over sine squared theta. Now, what uh, trigonometric identity or function that we can use with this one? So we know that 1 over sine is just cosecant. Therefore, 1 over sine squared is just the integral of cosecant squared theta d theta. And then here, we can apply the basic integration rules for trigonometric functions. And we know that the integral of cosecant squared theta is what? Cotangent theta plus c. 
really negative force. So we have here uh, the general solution, but uh, remember that this is a substituted value, therefore we need to revert it back to its original value. Okay, how are we gonna do that one? We draw our right triangle. We have a right triangle here with an angle theta. So, we know that we have 3 sine theta is equal to x or sine theta is equal to x over 3. We know that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, the opposite of our angle theta is x. Its hypotenuse is 3. How about the other leg? By Pythagorean's theorem, that is 3 squared minus x squared, or simply 9 minus x squared, or a given value. Now, that is a cotangent theta. Our cotangent theta is what? That is the opposite of the tangent. So, our cotangent is just the adjacent over the uh, opposite. So, our adjacent is square root of 9 minus x squared over the opposite x plus c. And then, to finalize our answer, then we will arrive at negative uh, square root of 9 minus x squared over x plus c. And then this will be the general solution for our deferential equation. Okay, but that is very simple. First, uh, you determine which uh, radical are we going to apply here? We, uh, which Pythagorean theorem are we going to apply? Which uh, trigonometric substitution are we going to substitute for our u? We determine our u, and then later on we determine the derivative of the u, and then we de also determine what is our a, and then we substituted all the values of those trigonometric uh, identities or functions, and then we arrive finally at this solution. So after arriving at the general solution with your trigonometric uh, function in the general solution, you need to revert it back to its original form. By using the right triangle, then you can arrive that your final answer will become negative square root of 9 minus x squared over, I forgot the 9 here, 9x nine plus c. Okay, next uh, we have here, uh, or for a second example, we have, we're asked to find the integral of dx over 4x squared plus 1. Okay, looking at the radical that is in the form u squared plus a squared. So, in some initial, which, uh, which one are we going to use? So, this is similar with the first one, no? In the form integral of a squared plus u squared. Okay, our u is what? Our u is 2x. Our a is just 1. So, some of you will not to see u. So, obviously, this is in the form 1 plus tangent squared theta. Therefore, we let our u as a tangent theta. Or, just tangent theta here because our a is equal to 1. Now our du is equal to 2 dx is equal to second squared theta d theta. So we just substitute these values here. And uh, by the way, our square root of 4x squared plus 1 is equal to 1. Again, following our previous discussion, uh, the answer for this one, the square root of a squared plus u squared is equal to a second squared, or sorry, a second theta, or just simply second theta. So we have here, uh, our dx is equal to, One half second squared theta d theta over second theta. Okay, this is already very simple. 
you just cancel the second theta in the denominator and then one second theta in the numerator. Then we will have one half times the integral of second theta d theta. And if we already know that our integral of second theta is just the natural logarithm of second theta plus tangent theta plus c. So this is the general solution, but we need to revert it back to its original value. So we have again the right triangle. So if we have a theta here, and then also make given that uh, we have 2x is equal to tangent theta. And we know that tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So our opposite is 2x and our adjacent is 1. Therefore, our numeric, uh, our hypotenuse is equal to 4x squared plus 1. That is just the simple Pythagorean theorem. So if our tangent theta is 2x, what is our second theta? Second theta na to is just the hypotenuse over adjacent or equal to 4x squared plus 1 over adjacent 1 or that is just equal to 4x squared. So we can add about our final answer of 1 half times the natural logarithm of square root of 4x squared plus 1 plus 2x. Then don't forget the plus c. And then don't forget to box your final answers. And then this is this is just uh, this is the answer. No, so it's very simple.